I will be the customer in the restaurant, and you can be the waiter. I want to be the customer. You can be the customer after me. Okay. Here's your dinner, ma'am. This is much too spicy. Take it back. No, no, no. It's not hot enough. Take it back. Hot but not hot. I mean, hot but not spicy. Here you are. And this is just right. Okay, now you be the customer. Olivia, it's time for your piano lesson. I'm sorry, sir, but the kitchen is closed. I need to book a band for a party I'm planning for Mrs. Heller. No, I do not want it to sound anything like the music you're hearing. Maybe just a little more practice this week, Olivia. No problem, Miss Porkerin. I love to practice. Bye-bye. Th thanks again. Kids. I have a surprise for you two. Yeah, Mother and I are taking you to a concert Saturday night. Yay! Oh, boy. piano lessons, Ian. I'm going to call Miss Porker in for you tomorrow. Cool. Oh, he has a real gift. Isn't that wonderful? Watch this. I can play with my eyes closed. Oh, ho, 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 that's my boy. <gasps> Waiting for the mail today, Olivia? I have a package for you. Send to Siberia, please. Sorry, Olivia. I can't accept any packages that may contain little brothers. Rule of life number 52. If your mom is having a baby and she asks you whether you want a brother or a sister, that does not mean you're really gonna get the kind you ask for. Olivia, we need to discuss your actions today. First of all, it simply isn't practical to mail your brother to Siberia, sweetie. Let's look at the financial aspect. It's uh, $32 a pound times Ian's weight uh, comes to... Uh, look, $1,120 plus uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. That's uh, yeah, almost $1,500. Now, I know sometimes you're not thrilled with your little brother. William is my little brother. Ian is my little bother. Uh, nice, yeah, but nonetheless, he is part of your family, and family is very important. I don't think you'd really want him to be lost forever. Oops, look what I did. Help me clean this up, Olivia. Would you mind taking the children to the grocery store and picking up a few things? I've typed up a list for you. Uh, this party I'm organizing is taking forever to come together. Don't forget anything. No, not you, Elise. I was talking to my husband. Now, what sort of cake were you thinking about? Chocolate? 
No, darling, I'm talking to Elise. Catch! Got it! Oh, how about this one? Gosh! I got it! Slam dunk! Hey, wait for me! Oops! Hey, oh, no! Yeah, over here! Come back! Oh, ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I saved Ian. He's going to be eternally grateful to me. Thanks a lot, Olivia. You're very welcome. Were you scared? No, I wasn't scared. And if I had been lost for five more minutes, the manager was going to give me a whole box of chocolate bars. <sighs> Dad. Huh? Oh, you're right. I don't understand how you could have forgotten one of the children. Uh, next time maybe you should write their names on the list of things to bring home from the store. <laughs> anyway, the good thing is Olivia is the one who told me I had forgotten them. I think she's over being jealous. proud of you for telling father that Ian was missing. Thank you. And are you proud of me for helping carry in the groceries? Yes. And are you proud of me for protecting William from the rolling watermelons? The rolling... Never mind. And are you proud of me for being smart and funny and fashionable? Olivia, sometimes you really wear me out. But I love you anyway. I love you anyway, too. Guess what? I decided to take up the violin. Well, that's really wonderful. And then all the other instruments in the orchestra. And after that, I'm going to learn to be a conductor. Today, Miss Porcarin said I was playing louder than ever before. Good night, Olivia. <sighs> Good night. Thank you. 
color too. These are my brand new crayons. Mom, Olivia isn't sharing. Olivia, let Ian use five or six of your crayons. I'm afraid he'll break them. He'll be careful. You have to learn to share. He can use one. Four. Seven. Three. Fine, three, but let him choose whatever three he wants. What are you going to draw? Without red, there's no point in drawing. I'm going to finish my puzzle. I want to help. Ian, this is my puzzle. I thought you wanted to draw. Mom! Olivia won't share her puzzle with me. Olivia, remember what I said about sharing? I'm going to read. I want to read, too. Can't you get one of your own books? Mom, Olivia isn't sharing again. You need to take a little break, Olivia, and go to your room and think about sharing. But Mom, I bet you wouldn't like it if you had to share. Olivia? Hi, Olivia's mom. I need to share your car. I'll have it back later today. Well, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But that's my car. I needed to do some errands. You aren't sharing! Mom, you really need to learn to share your things. You better go to your room and think it over. Well, have you thought about sharing with your little brother? You mean my little bother? Yes, I thought about it a lot. And what did you decide? I decided I don't want to. In that case, I think you need to stay here and think about it a little more. Come out in five minutes. You know what, Edwin? I'm going to go somewhere where there's no little bother for me to have to share with. And I'm taking all my stuff with me. Mom, I'm taking a trip around the world. Okay, just remember not to cross the street. I won't. Wouldn't it be great if we lived in an exciting, exotic place with no little bothers? Ah, uh, no little bothers in sight. Yes! This is more like it. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Ian? Yeah, giddy up! Woo! Let's go, come on, where there's no little bothers. <laughs> Hi, Oscar. Hi, Otto. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hmm, I think it needs more red. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Mrs. Casey. And where are you off to? I haven't decided yet, but somewhere far, far away. Oh, that's nice, dear. Let me help you get that heavy trunk home. No, wait. Hello, boys. Looking good, guys. Thanks. You're welcome, dear. Back already? No. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, perfect. No little baldurs anywhere. And I have an ice cream cone all to myself. Excuse me. You talk? And I really like ice cream. <sighs> Hi, Olivia. Want to try some lemonade? Mmm, nice and cold. Made from real lemons. <sighs> I'll be right back. Mom, can I have some money for lemonade? Are you coming back after you get it? No. Well, then I'm afraid you're going to have to use your own money. Where are you going? I'm coming with you. You can't come with me. You're the one I'm trying to get away from. I am not sharing this adventure with you. I told you to get a drink at that last oasis. Bought some lemonade. Want some? <sighs> Thanks. What are you doing? Making the trunk not so heavy. Did you ever notice how grown ups think that kids should share everything, but they don't have to share anything? Mom and Dad share a bedroom. That's different. They're married. I wonder how they'd like it if they had to share all their stuff. Hmm. Can I help you? We're here to share your house. Go on, kids, and pick out your bedrooms. Yeah! Wait a minute. You can't just... But this is our house. And then they'd have to share their house and their car and everything. <laughs> that would be really funny. Rule of life number 27. One good thing about little brothers. Sometimes they get how funny you are. Olivia, Ian, dinner. These are for you. They're all green. Yes, my favorite color. Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> that was a really good book. You should read it to Ian tomorrow night. Well, even though he might be a little too young to really appreciate it. Good idea, Olivia. Okay, what are we reading next? <sighs> I think I've had enough reading for tonight. You could share with Dad. He could read me another book. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Good morning, class. I have a question for you. Can anyone tell me what kind of... A frog! Good, Francine. But what type of... Green! Gross. Yes and yes. But do you know what species of frog this is? Um, uh, yes, Julian? Lithopedes caduspionis, better known as the bullfrog. Very good, Julian. Very good, Julian. Bullfrogs can grow up to eight inches long. Hmm, that's all. And weigh one and a half pounds and can live for 13 years. 13 years? Oh, the principal failed to mention that. Yep, and best of all, they can jump more than six feet. 
Muller. No, thank you, Olivia. I'll show that beast who's boss. Now, I'll have to leave one of you in charge. Whose turn will it be today? Apparently, it's Olivia's turn. <gasps> Olivia's in charge while I'm gone. Francine? Now you be sure to help Olivia if she needs it. Oh dear, he's in the cafeteria. Looks like there's a new sheriff in town. You best turn your horse around and get on out of town. If you don't get down from those desks, I'm going to tell. Okay, it was a little high up for me anyway. Francine, Mrs. Hulkenmuller left me in charge, and I'm thinking of making some changes around here. She left you in charge to keep things in order, not to change things. How back you. Stop! Now, every day at this time, we have a math lesson. Not in Olivia Town. Olivia Town? Yep, and the first thing we're gonna do is clean up this town. But we're supposed to do math. We can do math tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> All right, let the cleaning begin. Nice work, Harold. Root Beer Saloon's looking good, Daisy. Try to get some of that paint on the jailhouse, you guys. I demand that you stop this right now! Francine, this town isn't big enough for the two of us. You're not kidding. <laughs> Look at this mess! We're having fun, it just looks messy. Besides, Mrs. Hogenmuller put me in charge of the class. But she told me to help you if you needed it. And you need it. <laughs> ah! My dress! Sorry, we're picked in a town red. Like Olivia said. Olivia! We're all going to get into trouble! <laughs> Francine, if it means so much to you, you can be in charge. I don't want it now. Everything's ruined. No, it's not. Come on, Francine, you can be sheriff. No, thank you. Stampy! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Bullfrog, now move along. <laughs> if the bullfrog likes small flies that much, I bet he really likes big flies. Oscar, paint. Auto, paintbrush. Hey, bullfrog, look at this fly. <laughs> Just a frog. A gross, icky, slimy, disgusting frog. You deserve to be sheriff. Thanks. Children, terrible news. I believe the beast has escaped. <sighs> it's here. Olivia did it. I have a way with frogs. Kind of how I am with my cat, Edwin. Nicely done, Olivia. But look at this classroom. I thought I left you in charge when I was gone. You did, but a lot happened. First, we had to fix up the town. Then there was a stampede of giant frogs that almost crushed everything. But it could have been a lot worse if Francine hadn't helped. Really, Francine? Well, you'll have to tell me how you did it sometime. Well, it wasn't that hard. Hey, some other time, Francine. How about we get this classroom cleaned up? What do we do first, Sheriff? <laughs> And that's how I saved the town from a stampede of giant frogs. Oh, my. It sounds like you had a busy day at school. It's good to know I can leave you in charge. Mom, are you in charge of me? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if it's not the other way around. But I love you anyway. I love you anyway, too. Night, Olivia. Night. 